I'm going to start off by talking about frequency. Um, it's a term that we use every day in live sound, and this is in your book towards the first section. I'm trying to keep this in order with the book. Does anybody, can anybody define frequency for me? Not really. It's, it's not the easiest to define. Um, so what I did is I just went to the dictionary because it's like, I don't know. Um, so this is a couple de definitions of frequency. And uh, the one that I really like is uh, this one here. It's the number of complete oscillations per second of energy. Um, this scope represents frequency. When we put the, the sine wave, frequency is the, the difference between one whole sine wave. The signal will peak, and it will trough, and it will come back to the normal state again. And uh, this frequency just happens to be about 300 hertz. And as you increase the frequency, they get closer together. In other words, more of these peaks and troughs will fit into one second of time. And we can get into the annoying frequencies, where we, the higher you go, the more bunched up they are. And uh, so I define it as the number of times per second a sound source vibrates. Everything vibrates. Anything that makes noise has to vibrate. That's why when they take an alarm clock and put it in a, a vacuum and get rid of the air, there's no sound because sound needs air to vibrate and transfer through the air. Um, frequency is measured in hertz. Um, and this is the way we, ex we express it. A 1,000 hertz Many times we'll get rid of the thousand and we'll use K as like kilometer and, and kilogram and things like that. And we'll shorten it to 1,000 hertz or one kilohertz. Same holds true for any number over 1,000. Um, 10,000 hertz, we use, we'll call it 10K or 10,000. We use these terms a lot and a lot of these pieces of equipment use the K term. Somebody says 1K you know that's 1,000 hertz. Somebody says 10K, you know that's 10,000 hertz. Um, you'll actually memorize the little frequencies on here and you'll know, hopefully we'll get to a point where when somebody says 1K, you'll kind of know what frequency that is. Um, we'll set this up for 1K. That's 1,000 hertz. And it's actually, I'm sure you've heard this tone before, sometimes it's used for uh, in TV production as a test signal, sometimes it's used as, uh, as, as, a, as an announcement tone and things like that. Um, after you get familiar with the pieces of equipment, you'll actually know the difference between that sound and this sound. You'll know that that's not 1000 hertz, but closer to 1200 hertz. I know it sounds like a lot of information and it's kind of hard to, f it's like how will I know the difference between 1000 hertz and 2000 hertz? Well in the same way a musician understands um, somebody with perfect pitch, which not a lot of people have, but a lot of people do have an understanding that this note is lower than this note. And you may not know that, uh, that this is a C and this is an E, but you will know that one is higher or lower than the other. And another, another term that you will, will talk about is the octave, um, which is a very popular term. Anybody that's ever touched a musical instrument knows what an octave is. But uh, since we want to put our hands on electronic equipment, electronic audio equipment, we'll also need to have an understanding of what the octave is.